everybody so here's an example of a goda picture and this is what we want from a behavior standpoint as it pertains to the movement quality up and down the rotary engines inside the column and so what he's doing right here on the load or the drop in is he is going to create the go to bow on his right column. So the right column is the loaded column. The left column is the cornered column. And then the simplicity of it is we switch them. We take the right column, we corner it to release the energy, and then that energy's got to be gathered again on the left side where we take that cornered column and we build a bow. And so what you'll see is as he goes to transfer energy around the corner, you're gonna see that the elbow is going away and so is the heel. That's good behavior. That is good behavior in a throwing motion. It's good behavior in a swinging motion. It's good behavior in a walking motion. It's good behavior in a running motion because those are the biomechanics of forward locomotion as discovered through slow motion technology. When you start to watch thousands of hours of tape and you watch the behavior of the most durable humans, what you will see is an elbow going away and a heel going away to indicate to you that the pressure wave that was built in that column has now been released efficiently and it is on its way over to the other column where it needs to be collected efficiently. And so here it goes. As I'm releasing that right side, and the throwing is just the art of letting go of the ball at the perfect time in between this release of the pressure wave. And so as I start to collect more and more of my energy into my left column, what you will see is that the Nike check starts to drop down in the shoe, the kneecap points out, the foot is straight. And so what he has done now is he has built a new bow on, and that's amazing to be able to stick that landing like that, to build a new bow on the left side. The same thing that he was doing on the right side to load up the column to release the pressure wave he is doing on the left side now to catch the pressure wave that was released. The kneecap points out, it's all inside ankle bone high off the outside edge. This is why we preach a straight foot. The straighter the foot, the more rotary action I can get out of the ankle engine. The straighter the foot, the more rotary action I can get out of the hip engine. And when these two engines are in harmony, that's when I'm going to create the biggest, most beautiful, most efficient pressure wave that I can. And if I have the biggest, most beautiful pressure wave I can, I will be durable and I will be explosive. And I'll be able to do that for a lifetime. If I can't build a pressure wave efficiently and I can't release a pressure wave efficiently, I will compensate. I will still get the task done, but the life time of that engine is going to wear out faster than it should, which is why you're seeing an explosion in non-contact injuries and you're seeing an explosion in joint replacement surgeries as we age. The non-contact number is creeping into the eighth and ninth grade population, which is terrifying because we are by far the most sedentary we've ever been. More kids have phones, more kids have access to tablets, more kids are in a sitting derivative, in a chair sitting derivative than they've ever been, right? And then you couple that with the uh, shoes and then you couple it with the explosion of poor training that's all based off of this neutral, linear, straight line nonsense that has nothing to do with producing force. It's all based off of cadaver science and, and um, uh, shitty institution um uh, knowledge and shitty instant shitty academia knowledge they completely missed they totally whiffed on the map of human movement triple flexion extension is not helping you neutral kneecap is not helping you tripod foot is not helping you core bracing is not helping you midline stabilization olympic lifting is destroying you power lifting is destroying you Rehab protocols are destroying you. Standing on Airx pads are destroying you. Standing on upside down BOSU balls are destroying you. And all the while, nobody wants to take responsibility for the connective tissue and joint segments. They'd rather chalk it up to uh, unpredictability, fatigue, uh, hydration, sleep, uh, the lighting in the arena, um, the blade of grass, the shoes, 
uh, the helicopter. You see how stupid this gets when you just start blaming other things instead of the actual mechanism that is at hand, right? So the rotary action is cleanly mapped out for us through slow motion technology for both parties. The durable party that does not get injured does it the goat away. The destructive party that is injured and can't stay healthy and it's unexplained does it the woad away. The woda shapes, the woda patterns just so happen to be the same patterns of powerlifting, Olympic lifting, and all the bullshit rehab protocols that have been given to us by academia and institutions. So we are here as GOTA coaches to take back the human body using these thousand dollar computers that are all in our hands, using the slow motion technology that is at our fingertips, using the database of free video that is out there through social media that we can examine the greatest athletes of all time. We can examine the indigenous populations. We can examine the children and the age groupers and we can see what they are doing and we can discern for ourselves. We don't need the institutions in the academia people to tell us anymore. We have the information. We have the social media platform that we can now expand on and spread that information. They've been holding the keys to the castle. And not only that, they've refused to admit that they are wrong. How many knees need to shred off the inside edge technology before it's enough? Is it a million? Is it a billion? What number will the institutions in the academia go to until they raise their hand and say, you know what, guys, we don't really know what we're doing and we need to look at this again. How many more athletes are you going to stand on AirX pads until you realize that that's a shitty way to fix a knee? How many more Olympic lifts are you going to do until you realize that it's destroying your athletes? How many more heavy back squats are you going to do until you realize that it's destroying your athletes? The common sense is there. You need to trust your eyes and you need to stop worrying about the vocab that you learned in school. Pay attention to the tape. Notice what's happening in the slow motion technology. Understand that frame by frame is the most unbiased approach to understanding movement. You cannot read movement. You need to watch it. Coach Ricky, I'm out.